Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Okay, we're back again with our... I cut one of the four squares off for us to do our um, square and a square. I have my fabric cut. And what you're going to do is you're going to put on your first one that this is the piece that's going to go in the middle. I'm going to put it over with... Um, the wrong side facing the wrong side of the piece of paper. So there's my printed side. I'm actually going to sew on this side. So I'm going to put this piece on the back. Before I do that, I look and see my first line is going to be between one and two that I sew on. It's right here. So I want to turn my paper over, take a ruler, and I will draw a quarter of an inch line um, a quarter of an inch line on my paper to line up my first one. So there is my first little line. So when I put this on, right sides facing up, I will put it facing with the wrong side down on the wrong side of the paper. I'll line it up with my quarter inch line that I just drew. I, it is a quarter inch from my sew line. So that'll be my first seam. Then I'll be able to take my two inch block that I cut, put it in on. Now this I, I go like I usually do with right sides together and there you have it. And I'll turn it over and I will sew right along that line. I will pin it before I begin. If you have any pins that are have the flat little flower head like that, they're nice to use. They're not necessary. They're not mandatory, I guess is the word. But when I go to sew, it will lay nice and flat. And if I use a pin that has a little head on it, sometimes they roll a little bit. So I want to um, make sure my iron stays on. Sorry. Okay. So here's my piece. I'm going to sew between one and two first. That's my sew line. I've already set my stitch length to 1.5. You know, that's up to you. You can play with that a little bit. And I have my main fabric, my biggest piece of my square, with the wrong side to the wrong side of the paper, this being the right side. Then I have my right sides facing each other. I have it. Let me make sure it's not overlapping enough. I want to make sure I have my corner to corner overlapping nicely. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm pinning this back again. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure I have it in the right place. Okay. So I'm pinning this back again. Then I'm just going to stick it under the machine and I will sew right along between one and two. Here we go. And I'm going to follow right on that line. And then we've talked about those fourth of an inch um, seams, but that's not where we're not using those for this one. And then I'll take this and I'll press it up and I'll have the beginning of my square and a square. I'll go around and do the next piece is I'll do corner three. So I'll take my piece, I'll put it on here, and I'll line it up with my line on my front line, and I'm going to need to trim this square back. Okay, 
I'm ready to put my second piece on. I've sewn it and I've ironed my first one that went between one and two. Now I'm ready to sew the line between one and three. Okay, so I'm going to one, two, three. So I have my square here, and you'll notice that my inner square is much bigger than where my sew line is. To find my placement line, I'm going to fold down right on my line, my sew line. I'm going to fold right on my sew line, right here. Okay, then I'll lift it back up, and sometimes I even fold the square with it. That gives me a good place to know I need this to be about a fourth of an inch above that so I can have a good, um, what's it called, seam. So I have a good seam. So I'll pin this on right sides together, okay, and then I'll be ready to sew my third line, my second line, I'm sorry, my, the corner number three. Then I'll go through and do the same thing for the other two corners. Okay, so I just finished sewing my fourth square on for my square and square. I'm now going to fold, the, so I sewed right along this line. I'm going to fold my paper back, and I have more than a quarter of an inch seam, so I want to take it over here and just quickly trim off that excess. Okay. And then I'm ready to iron this down. Have all four pieces on here. And now I'm ready to trim it up. And I'm going to trim along the dotted line. The, um, the solid line is my um, sew line. So I want to trim it on my dotted line. And then I'll have my square and square. Okay, so my square and a square, paper pieced, three and a half inches is all, it matches my dress. I didn't even realize that when I was doing it until I just held it up. Okay, so you will see that it finishes three and a half inches. I don't know if you can see that, but it finishes it up at three and a half inches right there. And um, it's kind of a fast and easy way to do it, and nothing is wonky. And I'll see if I can find one of my ones over on my design wall that is wonky so that you can see the difference. So, since we have quite a few square of squares to do, you may want to check them out to do your paper piecing with the square and a square, depending on what size you need to do. Okay, now we're ready to move on to our big blocks that are a lot more involved. Okay, bye. Oh, and P.S., there is another square and a square that we do for this section that is bordered that has a you know, that's, um, fabric that goes around it. So I'll look at one of those in a second. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on, and then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome.